is a leader, um, a person who teaches you and leads you. A leader is someone who teaches God's word and obeys his word. A leader is someone who sets the pace. A leader is someone who works with people and not over them. Uh, a leader is someone who uh, understands truth in its truest sense and seeks to put it into practice and to lead others, uh, influence others, persuade others uh, in that same direction. At SCCA, training to become a leader starts in the grammar stage where children learn the basic facts, the grammar of all the subjects. The students master Latin paradigms, reading and writing skills, English grammar jingles and history songs. They learn to appreciate the arts. They even stage plays based on stories from the Bible and from history. Students learn to appreciate music and the arts by learning how to play instruments. The grammar stage provides students with the underlying knowledge they will draw upon throughout their educational development. As children grow into young adults, they become critical thinkers. In the dialectic stage, the argumentative nature of teens is refined by the study of formal logic and debate. My main point is that the irreducibly complex systems cannot evolve from a primitive version meaning that it would have to have been there all along and been created that way. It just could not evolve into what it is. So how does your evidence given relate to your main point specifically? Well, it just proves that without these specific working mechanisms that the whole system itself would not work. And it just shows that the probability, even the probability of all these happening is just so great and next to impossible. After going through the rigors of grammar, logic, and rhetoric, a student will be prepared to be a Christian leader who knows, understands, and can eloquently defend the truth. We chose uh, Stratford Classical Christian Academy is we really wanted to give our kids a foundation. We, um, our goal for them has really been to, uh, to to raise them to be Christian leaders. That doesn't just start when they're 18 or when they're 16. It really starts with how we relate to them as, as five-year-olds, eight-year-olds, and, and, and ten-year-olds. So for us, we've always wanted to really reason through, not just tell them yes or no, but actually help them to reason through and, and see consequences of choices and then help, hopefully they arrive at, at the correct choice. So one of the things that we've enjoyed so much with uh, having a daughter in, in kindergarten and a son in second grade and our, our oldest daughter is in fifth grade is the foundation that they're getting right now. They're getting a lot of information and it's been exciting to see them be able to process this information as they're learning songs and they're reciting the songs at home and it's fun for them. So they're, they're learning the information, they're able to recall the information, and we're excited for down the road when they'll be able to actually uh, be able to pick and choose relevant information to be able to form ideas, thoughts, and to really be able to do that from a global perspective. In speaking with other parents, we really appreciate the fact that they, it's, it's a much more global perspective with regards to the education here in the sense that it's a little easier to not just look at it from our personal worldview here, but more of a uh, more of an objective worldview. What encouragement have you seen as a dialectic and rhetoric school parent? I think the plethora of, uh, of knowledge that there is to learn, uh, and I've seen Rachel absorb it and uh, grow from it, it's helped her mature not only intellectually but just as a young lady. Uh, there's something about the disciplines of learning that affect our uh, for lack of a better term, um, evolution to adulthood, our growth to adulthood. And while we uh, homeschooled Rachel in her primary years, when she entered SCCA as a 
dialectic student a few years ago, uh, and now as a rhetoric student, I can see how uh, very clearly, and that as a teacher here as well, how all the education fits together. Um, somebody once said it's like a three-legged stool almost, um, and you can't have one without the other, but I think it would be counterproductive if we didn't continue going in the same direction that we set off and we charted our course for to suddenly change course and go into an area of general education which has not the same goals, uh, the same philosophy, the same focus, I think would be uh, to shortchange Rachel in the long run uh, from the quality and the type, uh, if that's, that's one and the same, the quality of education that she is receiving. The Trivium, as an educational program, must be completed as a whole in order to benefit from the classical education. In grammar school, students memorize information and learn facts. Later, in the dialectic school, students learn how to think logically and process and understand all of the facts that they learned in grammar school. Later on in rhetoric school, students use their knowledge and understanding to argue rhetorically and develop their own unique expression. Studying only part of the Trivium is beneficial, but it is incomplete because the goal of the Trivium, which is learning how to think correctly and express oneself eloquently, is only accomplished when the entire process is completed as a whole. The ultimate end is that through the Trivium, we at SCCA can raise up good Christian leaders that know how to think and can take every thought captive to obey Christ.